hello welcome once again to my channel in this video i will discuss about the alkyl group alkyl group can be obtained from alkane by removing a hydrogen atom if h atom is removed from methane you'll get methyl if h atom is removed from ethane you'll get ethyl so alkyl group has one hydrogen atom less than corresponding alkane in case of propane you see ch3 ch2 ch3 there are three carbon atoms and if you will remove hydrogen atom you will get corresponding alkyl group propyl but there are two types of propyl n propyl and isopropyl how do you get n propyl and isopropyl you see propane ch3 ch2 ch3 first and last carbon atoms are primary carbon atoms what do you mean by primary carbon atom the carbon atom connected to one carbon atom on one side is known as a primary carbon atom and the hydrogen atoms attached to primary carbon atoms are primary hydrogen atoms. In case of propane, there are two primary carbon atoms, first one and last one. And in the middle, you will find a secondary carbon atom. Secondary carbon, why? Because that carbon in the middle is connected to two carbon atoms on two different sides. So that is a secondary carbon atom. And the hydrogen atoms attached to secondary carbon atom are secondary hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen atoms attached to secondary carbon atom in the middle are secondary hydrogen atoms. So in case of propane, you will find six primary hydrogen atoms and two secondary hydrogen atoms. Let us remove a primary hydrogen atom from propane. So any primary carbon atom can give a primary hydrogen atom. So after removing a primary hydrogen atom from propane, you will be getting an alkyl group that is CS3, CS2, CS2 bond and that is N-propyl. Why N-propyl? N means normal or is a straight chain isomer of propyl group. If secondary hydrogen atom of propane is removed, then you will be getting CS3, CH bond, CS3 and that is isomer of this N-propyl. They have same molecular formula isomer of n propyl you just remove more of n then you'll be getting isopropyl so isopropyl is the isomer of n propyl and in case of isopropyl you have removed a second hydrogen atom from propane and the structure of isopropyl is shown over here so propyl has two isomers n propyl and isopropyl you see in case of propane there is one isomer but in case of propyl there are two isomers let us take another example c4s10 you know c4s10 has two isomers n-butane and isobutane n-butane means straight chain isobutane means isomer of n-butane so you see there is branching in isobutane in case of n-butane you will find two types of carbon first and second sorry first and in case of n-butane you will find two types of carbon atoms primary and secondary the first carbon and the last carbon are primary carbon atoms and the hydrogen atoms attached to first and last are primary hydrogen atoms and the carbon atom in the middle are the carbon atom present in the middle are secondary carbon atoms and the hydrogen atoms attached to secondary carbon atoms are secondary hydrogen atoms so in case of n-butane if you remove a primary hydrogen atom you will get ch3 ch2 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 bond that is n-butyl n means straight chain and you can remove that hydrogen from this side also but no need of doing that because since but n butyl will be obtained if you remove a secondary hydrogen atom from any of the secondary carbon atoms you will be getting sec butyl ch3 ch2 ch bond ch3 sec butyl means the hydrogen atom from n butyl is removed from a secondary carbon atom that is sec butyl sec what is from secondary in case of isobutane, you will find two types of carbon atoms, primary, 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 three primary carbon atoms. And in the middle, you will find a tertiary carbon because that carbon in the middle is connected to three carbon atoms on three different sides. That is a tertiary carbon and the hydrogen atom attached to that tertiary carbon atom is a tertiary hydrogen atom. If you remove a tertiary hydrogen atom from that tertiary carbon, you will be getting tert butyl, CS3C bond, CS3C, that is tert butyl. Then, if you remove a primary hydrogen atom from isobutane, you will be getting isobutane. You see, in isobutane, there are three primary.
primary carbon atoms and nine hydrogen atoms connected to those three primary carbon atoms. If you remove one primary hydrogen atom from that isobutane, you will be getting isobutyl. You see, in case of C4S10, you will find two isomers, n-butane and isobutane. And, but C4S9 has four isomers. Similarly, you can find number of isomers in case of C5H12 and C5H11. One thing I want to tell you, what do you mean by a quaternary carbon atom? If a carbon atom is connected to four carbon atoms on four different sides, that is a quaternary carbon atom. And there is no hydrogen atom connected to that quaternary carbon because that carbon is connected to four carbon atoms on four different sides. Already it has four bonds. So, so you will find four types of carbon, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary and three types of hydrogen atoms, primary, secondary and tertiary. There is no quaternary hydrogen atom. Thank you.